what do you think how do you think this will impact the future of the show i mean you have a live audience have you guys talked about how you adapt going forward or you, you know just, what? Or are you going to kind of wait and see i i definitely think we're going to wait and see but I, i've always told my wife um i could do the show without an audience because it, it's funny I always heard the story how about Joe DiMaggio of the Yankees, the great ball player, that he just focused everything out, never would – he didn't know anybody in the stands. Like, he just focused what was happening on the field. And I actually feel the same way. People are like, oh, didn't you see me in the audience? And I'm like, when I'm doing my show, I'm so laser-focused on what's happening on stage that I forget that there's an audience there. Um, so with me, if we have to come back – and do the show without an audience, it's probably not going to make that much of a difference for me. Um, I don't know how much it would impact the viewers at home that there's not people, you know, yelling or making noise in the background. Um, but we'll see. I, I certainly hope I, we, we're supposed to go back to taping at the end of August. I would hope that the world uh, is pretty much back uh, to the way it was before. I mean, there's certainly going to be changes um, uh, that we're all going to have to do I, I think like handshaking, that is going to be a thing of the past, right? Like, you know, meeting somebody and shaking their hand. I, I think that's going to go away forever, like during my lifetime. But uh, as like I said, hopefully we'll all be back at work. People will be coming to see TV shows. Uh, I mean, that's what at least we're all hoping for is that people get back to work and go on with their lives. Mm -hmm.